Anamprem is a unique organisation, a guiding light for the blind, handicapped, deaf and people with special needs. It enlightens darkened paths with understanding and feelings beyond words. In Maharashtra, there is no schooling above seventh standard for differently abled people. Many of them, who come from the poorer sectors of society, are forced to be dropouts and often become beggars and victims of addiction. Many such people could be found begging for money around bus and train stations, temples, and on the busy streets of Abed Nagar. Dr. Girish Kulkarni, who had already established Nahalia, an organization that focused on the neglected people from Indian society, saw the need to address people who were differently abled and who all too often faced discrimination and had no opportunities of fulfilling their great potential. Anam Prem was founded in 2005 for the upliftment and welfare of the blind, handicapped, the deaf and for people with special needs. Anam Prem builds self-confidence by giving moral support and love. They strive to give people a secure future by making them financially and socially independent. The two founders of Anam Prem were Amber Das Chavan and Anil Gawad. Anil, what sort of challenges did you and Amber Das face when, when you were setting up Anam Prem? The journey of Anam Prem, which it was so terrific for us. Initially, we have started work with the blind kids and established the computer training center for them. Then we established Braille library for the uh, these kids. Uh, at that time, we identified the lot many talents in that kids, and we established uh, orchestra and given the opportunity, employment opportunity for the blind kids. Actually, uh, in the 2005 to 12, it was so uh, hard uh, journey for us. We don't have place, we don't have money, we can't provide uh, one day meal uh, for the our kids. Uh, that time we identified the need of the kid, blind kids and handicapped kids. They don't have shelter home in the Amanagar district. So that is the genuine uh, need of these kids. Then we, we decided to uh, we'll establish a shelter home. But uh, we don't have place and we have faced so many problems for the uh, shelter and uh, uh, the residents of the girls and boys. Actually, now uh, Anam Prem team uh, has doing uh, great work and uh, we overcome on these challenges with the help of Snehalaya Childline. Initially, Childline team was uh, help us on the so many ways. So uh, now uh, we are going to identify the new problems of the uh, blind kids, handicapped, and uh, we are uh, now doing on that. Issues. In 2016, the role of chairman is Ajit Mane, and the job of secretary belongs to Ajit Kulkarni. He is a champion for the rights of people who are differently abled, often fighting battles on their behalf so that they may be granted their rights to lead more fulfilling lives. Anand Prem has various projects and activities, including Himat Bhavan. This project works for the blind, handicapped, and deaf. They provide free food, lodging and medical aid. At present, there are 65 people who reside there. Most are young students who are studying in various schools and colleges in Ahmed Nagar, along with able-bodied people. The Anand Computer Training Institute. All the latest information and syllabus in the field of computers is provided to the members of Anand Prem so that they can also be at par with this modern world of IT and computers. Along with this, English is also taught, so that they may converse with people in their community. Ada Apang Sayata Kendra 
This project helps the blind, handicapped and deaf people to overcome the difficulties they face in the society. The project also provides medical aid in the form of artificial limbs, tricycles, finance for surgery and counselling for them. The blind are provided with braille canes and glasses at a very reasonable rate. The handicapped and others are also provided legal advice and help whenever necessary. A special campaign for eye donation and dead body donation is also taken up by Anand Prem. Citizens interested in this noble deed can register with Anand Prem. Mangal Badan Viva Sucha Kendra. This project caters to the needs of the blind, deaf and handicapped. All NGOs working for this common cause are approached for appropriate matchmaking for them. The Helen Keller Library. In order to develop an interest in literature and books on various topics, the library has 400 books in Braille and 100 books on various subjects. The project is still in need of many Braille books for its library. The Prakashgan Sangeet Rajani Manch Orchestra provides a platform for its Anand Prem members where individuals can display their special skills like singing and dancing. A future plan for Anand Prem is to start a commercial orchestra which will include its members so that they can become financially independent. Training will be given to all aspiring artists. Prakash Vata is a magazine in braille text. It is a necessity for differently abled people along with the visually impaired to clear all competitive exams so that they can get a respectable job in semi-government, government and even corporate fields. Prakash Vata is the only magazine of its kind in Marathi, created by Anand Prem. It focuses on exams, personality development and job orientation. 2016 sees Anand Prem entering into an exciting phase for the organisation as they begin work on Satmayel Jayatagram. This will be a youth employment centre for the transformation of the lives of the visually impaired, physically challenged, people with bone deformities and deaf and mute individuals. There will also be a school for children with special needs that will focus on them being given an appropriate education and training from an early age so that they can lead happy and independent lives. The Eye Bank and Cataract Clinic will be a light of hope for cataract patients in rural areas. Eye Bank will also be a source to spread the message of eye donation in the society. Care will be provided in an old age people's home. This will be a residence for the weak and physically challenged, who will be able to live out a peaceful and satisfied life in a safe and comfortable abode. Construction work has already begun on the village, but for its development and completion, we will need your donations and support. Join hands with us by helping us to build this unique centre that will help and empower these special people. You too can be part of something great. We accept the harsh realities of life, which the normal humans don't dare to accept. We strive to lead an independent life, not dependent on the aims from others. Our lives are a source of inspiration to one and to all. Thank you.